and that the people I pay my taxes look through that bag. There's nothing today. Nothing today. Nothing today. That's what I've been hearing every day. I'm getting tired of it. The letter's got to be there. It's a plot. That's what it is. I'll drag you and Uncle Sam and Bodie. I'll drag you to the Supreme Court. Nothing today. Nothing, nothing. Get a load of that, fellas. Looks like Hard Boy Muggsy's got a guile. Bet you them let her smell a perfume. Hey, Muggsy, who is she? Do we know her? Don Redden. It's tough. I know. I was in love a couple of times myself. Eh, dummy up with that dribble. Wait a minute, Muggs. I was only kidding. <coughs> hey, wait a minute, Muggs. I didn't mean nothing when I said you had a girl. After all, a guy's got a right to. Eh, it ain't that, Danny. You sure acting funny. Come on, spill it. Tell me what it's all about. How would you feel if all your chances was ruined? Chances of what? Chances of being a jockey. A what? A jockey, a jockey. You know a guy what steers horses? What are you gonna do, take riding lessons by mail? Stop right up, folks. Learn to be a jockey in 10 easy lessons. <laughs> they laughed when he sat down. They laughed harder when he fell down. All right, go on, laugh. Laugh, that's all right. But I'm gonna be a jockey, even if he didn't write to me. He? Who? Eh, it's just a guy. What do you care? You ain't taking me serious. Well, why should I? I've seen pictures of jockeys in the movies, you know? They ride horses. The only horses you ever see was on a Coney Island merry-go-round. Well, I'm gonna see real horses, and I'm gonna ride them, too. Yeah? How come? Well, you remember that kid, Sullivan, that little guy used to live on our street? Yeah. Well, he goes away, see? He comes back dressed up like a million bucks, takes his mother to a swell home out in California. Yeah, I seen him. You mean he's a jockey? Jockey Sullivan he is now. Do those guys make that kind of dough? Sure, and they get to see the whole country, too. People treat them like they were somebody. Boy, I'd sure like to live like that. Well, I'm gonna, see. Jimmy, uh, Jockey's gonna get me a job at the track. Is that what the letter was about? Gonna stop me up at Pominock in Long Island. Bad windbag. Here you go. Place your wormit out of me, and then you run it down. Now, wait a minute, Muggs. You got me wrong. I ain't like that. I'm all ears. Well, what I meant is that... Hey, you know, guys, I got an idea. Yeah, yeah. does it hurt much? Uh, uh, I'll be quiet. Are we gonna stand around and let a gold digger make a sucker out of Muggsy? No, no. no. All right, then. We'll wait for that letter and not yeah. let Muggs get it. No. Then we'll write them ourselves and bust the whole thing up. Hey, we can't write like no girl. I'll get my old lady to write what I tell her. Yeah, but we don't know her, much less her name. How are we gonna write for her? Hey, that's a cinch. All we got to write is, Dear Muggs, I don't love you no more. Yeah, what's the matter with that? Yeah, but how are you going to sign it? Well, we'll sign it. You know who? Yeah, we can write it on pink paper. Purple. Pink mm -hmm. paper. Who's writing this letter? Purple. Pink paper. Purple. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, look, I ain't got any kind of paper. Just write the letter. Purple. Pink paper. 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 Cut it out, will you? Pink paper. Wait a minute. What I can't get through my head is how you're going to be a jockey when you've never been on a horse. Get a job around the stables. Stable boys, they call them. Stable boys? Boy, you're gonna take a lot of punishment before you're a jockey. What do I care? It'll give me a start, won't it? Why'd you forget it, Muggs? We can do a lot of other things. Get nothing. Well, you see, one of these days I'm gonna be a jockey, and you guys are gonna pay your good dough to see me ride. And when I come bouncing down that home stretch with a winner, you're gonna be cheering for me. You're gonna be yelling, come on, Muggs, come on! Snodgrass is crowning the winner. We'll take you down and let this great jockey say a few words to you all. Say hey, a few hey, words, hey, Nigel, will you? I want a picture of him. Yeah, not without hop up, though. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. That's enough, Victor. All right, now say a few words to the folks in Kentucky, will you? That's it. Be quiet, up. That's it. Don't be afraid. Thank you very much. That was most wonderful. Say, man, you done beat the clock and broke the record. Yeah, what was his time? I was, uh huh? Very nice, boys. I'm proud of you. Do you mind telling me what's going on? We were just doing you a favor. Yeah, we were painting. So I see. Well, just wait till those painters catch up with you. It's our club, ain't it? Yeah, we got a right to help. You've got no right to make such a mess. Yeah, it is pretty awful. Awful? Listen to him. Tell me, how could you do so much damage just painting? Well, we was having a horse race. Hey, you know Muggs is gonna be a jockey. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, you better race out of here before those painters skin you alive. Where we go? 
Jockey yourselves over to your old stable hangout. That'll get your horsey enough. Stable. That's it, stable. Atmosphere, just what I've been looking for, atmosphere. If I'm gang, let's go. You better go with them, Algy, and keep your eye on them. All right, if you say so, Knuckles. So this is the stable hangout you fellas have been telling me about. Not bad. Can you imagine that? We used to think this place was really the... Yeah, before we got the club, we had no other place to go. I wish they'd hurry up with the club. This place gives me the creep. Ah, the sport of kings. It's in the air. I love it. Now look -a here, Colonel Bedler, sir. You can't run my derby winner in the big race, unless my favorite jock is riding. The Commodore, who is this boy Muggs? I never heard of him. What's that, sir? You mean you ain't never heard of the Kentucky streak of lightning, the fastest rider in the deep south, the great Muggs Maloney? But Commodore, this is the north. We got the fastest riders in the world up here. Besides, I got a lot of lettuce invested in that race. Keep your country gallopers down south. Just a minute, sir. You can't stand there and insult the name and the honor of the Old South. I'll meet you at the battlefield at dawn. Bring your own weapons. Take that, sir, and that. And that, too. I'll lay off, Danny, will you? Besides, it hurts. No dead burn Yankee's gonna dirty the name of the greatest Dixie rider of the bluegrass ponies. Hey, cut it out, you bore me. What do you guys know about horse racing? I seen him once in a newsreel. Well, they don't call horses ponies. No? My uncle's a bookie, ain't he? Well, he calls them ponies. Well, he's all wet, see? They call them geldons and fillies and uh, maybe stuff like that. Come on, fillies is a baseball team. Yeah, that's sure, right. right. Certainly, yeah. they're a baseball team. Anybody knows that. Well, it's horses, too. <laughs> How can a horse play baseball? Hush up, my boy. Go saddle my filly and bring him out here. Very good, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that family made it. Look, look, there's a gap. Let's go through. Eh, uh, you know, I'm getting sick of this playing. What I need is a real horse. Why, sir, you got the finest horse in all of Kane Tucky. Come on, honey, step out and give him a real ride. <laughs> Get out there, honey. Hey, don't do that. Oh, well, boy. Oh, let me out of here. Now, baby, baby, stop it, stop it. Whoa, 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 now, honey, 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 that's it. Whoa, baby, that's it, my, my. I didn't taught you how not to get excited over every little thing, huh? Oh, you know why I slave my poor life away for you? That's a nice, very, very nice, nice, good, quiet. Mm, that's good, quiet. Now, he come from? Is that a real horse? Sure enough, yes, sir. A horse. A live horse. You ever rode before, boy? Uh-uh. Did my swell job of it, sir? Uh, I don't think so. Didn't he fall off? Well, he mounts to go a thoroughbred bareback. A real thoroughbred? Uh, yes, sir. And he's the greatest horses in this country. Yeah? Where'd you see What's he doing on a place like that? What are you doing with a real yeah. thoroughbred? Excuse me, gentlemen, but I didn't mean no harm. We just didn't have no other place to go. I just couldn't stand my poor little horse standing out in the cold. Uh, oh, the blanket. Wait a minute, I'll get it. Thank you, sir. You don't have to be scared. You ain't gonna tell nobody we here? Uh, what do you think we are, a bunch of stove pigeons? Say, listen, where are you from? Kentucky. Kentucky? 
Say, my pappy was from Kentucky. Sure enough. Yes, sir. Well, Just outside of Louisville. Can you imagine that? Yes. I was born up in Frankfort County on the old Preston plantation. Yeah. Got me in Blue Knight. That sure enough is a pretty name. Oh, yeah, and the whole world's gonna know about that name for long. Yeah, look at how come you stuck here in New York? Well, I tell you, that's a long story, boy. Let, let, let me kick the, my honey right back into the stall and get a little bite to eat, and I'll come back and start telling you. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let's all eat. Ain't you hungry? Yes, sir. I'll get some spuds. That's a good idea. Yes, sir. I think I'll visit Louis the Vegetable Man. Come on, gang, let's go. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Get the blanket. Oh, the blanket. thank you. Thank you, sir. Come on now, baby. Come on now. I'm going to give you a little something to eat. Put the blanket on and get you nice and warm. That's it. Boy, I rode on a horse. A thoroughbred, no less. But I ain't squawking. When Mr. Preston was taken so sick, he called me one day and he gave me a funny little coat. Said that's the only way he could pay me because he then lost all his money. Well, I brung up my honey and I saved a little money so I could come up eat. Did you lose it? Is that why you had to come in here? No, my honey child took a call. Then I spent all my savings on medicine. Got sick and tired and wore out riding around in that truck. The truck gave out of gas, so I just snuck in here till I could figure out something. Well, why didn't you make Blue Knight pull a truck? Son, I'd rather starve than make my hundred child pull a truck. Race horses ain't made for that kind of stuff. I'm surprised at you, Danny. How should I know? Go on, Ben. Well, there ain't much more to tell. I'm gonna take a look at Blue Knight now. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I never will forget the morning that we pulled out Kentucky when Blue Knight looked up the road and knew she was headed east to Bill Chapter. <laughs> They're not all right, I told you, Louise. If they were, they'd have gone home to eat. Oh, well, we'll be late for the show. I can't help it. Taking care of these kids is part of my job. Their folks are worried to death about them. Oh, I'm sure they're all right, Knuckles. They've been so good since Algie's father and those other men gave them the club. Well, I'm going to look around. Uh-oh, what's this? I thought so. Kentucky license plate. Come on. Somebody's coming. Who that? Put that fire out. Wait a minute, fellas. I think it's... Danny, Danny, are you in here? It is. It's not cold. It's okay. You don't have to worry. What in the world I have you kids been... I was hoping you'd get here. What a surprise. Where did you see it? I saw it. Where'd you swipe it? Swipe what? What are you talking about? That truck in the alley. Oh, that. That ain't ours. That's Blue Knights. Blue Knights? Yeah. That's a horse, a racehorse. <laughs> it must be the machine age we're living in. Trucks are driven and owned by horses now. All right, Danny, stop stalling. What have you kids been up to? Martin, come on, I'll show it to you. Come on, let's go. Just a minute, laddie. Now that you've found your youthful charges and can't send them home, how about that movie? Listen, this is better than any show in town. Honest it is, Knuckles. Come on. We've got plenty of time, Louise. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, please don't punish them kids, mister. They're just trying to help a poor old man. I I'll make it up for you someday, sir. All right, Ben, but I've still got plenty of squaring to do. This is all very interesting, but remember, we, we were, were going to a movie. Uh. <laughs> all right, honey, you win. You know, it's too bad you can't race Blue Knight. I don't know any more about racing than the kids do, but he sure looks like a good one. Good? Well, we'd be champions of the world if we could only get a chance. <laughs> we just got to help, Knuckles. There must be something we can do. Well, I don't know what it would be, kid. How much would it cost to get Blue Knight to the track and train him for the race? Well, I got most of my equipment, but with stables and other fees, I couldn't get him to the post for less than a hundred dollars. Well, that's a lot of money. It sure is, ma'am, when you gotta dig it up. I'd sure like to see this horse run. Maybe we could help Ben raise the dough. He'd pay us back out of the horse's first winnings. I I'd do more than that. I'd give 25% of all his winnings. Anybody can help us right now. 25%? Mm-hmm. Say, that must be worth working for. Well, we could get a hold of... Why, we could sell papers and shine shoes. And polish cars. And wash windows. And swipe... I mean, sell potatoes. <laughs> I was just listening. <laughs> well, that's a swell idea, boys, but the Palmanock meat would be ancient history by the time you get $100 at that rate. Yeah, I guess it would. Let me see, there must be some way we could get a hold. I got an idea, Knuckles. That money you've been saving up, how much you got? Oh, I don't know, about a hundred and... Hey, wait a minute, what's on your mind? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about how long it took you to save it, and, and how Louise is always saying that you got to have 500 before you get together. Well, I just thought you might be able to get together a lot sooner if... You mean if I made it work for me? Hey, I never thought of that. Yes, and you're not thinking of it. You've saved that money for a definite purpose, and it's staying in the bank. But, Louise, 25 percent. Think how much that'd be. Think how much some horses like Seabiscuit have won. I am thinking of it. Not all of those horses won their first race. Suppose this one should lose. What then? 
Ben, you know what it's all about. You talk to her. No, I ain't gonna get no argument between two such nice people. When Miss Louise says there's always a chance to lose, she's right. I know I'm right. How much did Seabiscuit make, Ben? Oh, about a half a million or so. A half a million? Mm -hmm. A half a million. Let's see. There's Muggs, Pee Wee, Scruno, Algy, Knuckles, and me. A half a million times 25 minus 500,000 times. I can't even count that high. We're rich. Yeah, but what about the first hundred? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott. Hey, it's your old man. Won't do any good. What do you mean it won't do no good? Oh, just this once. You can handle him. All right. I'll ask him. Oh, it's you, Algie. Where's your mother? Mother? Oh, mother's writing letters. In the study? Mm-hmm. Dodgers are coming right along, aren't they, Dad? Shh, Algie, please, I... Was Ebbetsfield crowded on Friday? Why, well, I, I don't know. I had a director's meeting. I... Directing plays from behind third base, huh? Where'd you get those? Oh, mother asked me to empty a brown suit. Well, thank heaven she didn't do it herself. Yeah, that's what I thought. Particularly when I found this. Uh, <coughs> Ten dollars on Lady Luck. Too bad, Dad. She finished a poor fifth. Destroy that ticket, Allison. On. Suppose oh, your mother... take me to the track sometime. Silence! Uh, <coughs> you know what your mother thinks about sporting events. Yeah, but I still wish... But she'd divorce me if I took you to see a horse race. Oh, but I don't want to see a race. Just one horse. What horse? Blue Knight. Never heard of him. No, of course not, but he's a champion. I'm going to be someday. He comes straight from Kentucky. Boy, what a horse. I didn't hear all that, Algy. Well, Danny and the gang have a thoroughbred. Aha! Uh -huh. I'd have known that gang of East Side kids was mixed up in this. Why don't you choose your companions from your own set? Oh, I know that I built them a clubhouse so they could rehabilitate themselves. But until they're good citizens, I don't want you to associate with them. What'd you say about this horse? The boys own 25% of them, and if he's properly trained, he's a sure winner. Now, all we need is $100. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd soon be broke if I backed every horse somebody tried to sell me on. But you needn't give me any allowance for six months. No. No? No. Oh. Horse races have been the ruination of many a man, Algie. Who'd you say won the eighth race at Jamaica? Please, Algie. Mother will hear you. I... Here, here. Just a moment. I... There you are. Now, I hope you're satisfied. Gee, thanks a lot. Sir. Algie. Yes, sir? Come here. Don't forget to tip me off on that horse rounds, will you? Gee, Dad, you're <laughs> swell. <laughs> I wish I was as little as Muggs. I'd show him how to ride. Ah, what do you know about racing? Quiet, you guys. You know what Ben said. Now, Mr. Muggs, you got to remember some of the things I told you. Mm. You remember about the rain? Mm. Now you got to get on from this side. Right side, left side, what's the matter? You get a ticket? Listen, you try getting on over on that side, and you'll find yourself bouncing right on the ground. All right, all right, all right. Have it your way. Now, it's no use you getting riled up, Mr. Muggs. All I'm doing is what I promised to do, to teach you the technical of how to ride my honey. And win with him. I'll do it, Ben. You just wait you see him and me come breezing down at home stretch. Well, Boy, wait, I'll give him that. Minute, wait a minute, right now. All I want you to do is to get right on up, then get right off. Then get right on up, then get right off. Then do that right over again. That's all I want. That man is repeating himself. Up and off, off and up, off and off. What kind of race talk is that? Where do you come up with all this force and stuff? I thought Ben's the one who's supposed to be teaching me this jockey business. Yeah, he's learning how to ride, but I'm training, you see? I'm getting you in shape, ain't I, Ben? That's right, Mr. Muggs. Can't ride unless you're in shape. Hey, I thought the horses were supposed to do all the running. All the jockeys I have are no road. Yeah, you gotta take off weight, and road work's part of it. That's for fighters. And for jockeys, too. Now, come on, get going. All yeah, right, all right. You're gonna be in shape to ride a merry-go-round pony. Hey, what? look, there's Jimmy Sullivan. Yeah? Yeah. Sure a swell kid, Danny. I'd like you to meet him. Sure wish I got those letters he said he was gonna write. Maybe he broke his arm. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy! You pegging me? See that, Danny? Just like I told you, he's always clowning. I wouldn't answer those letters you wrote, Jimmy, but I never got none of them. I don't write letters. I just sign autographs. And you get caught? Hey. You mean you really don't remember me? I'm Muggs Maloney, the kid you said you were gonna write to. Oh, I remember. 
You're that kid from, uh, where is it? Vassy Street. Vassy Street, that's right. I suppose you're down here with some charity bunch. What is it, a settlement house picnic? Why, for two cents, I'll put Danny. you right in the nose. So long, mother. See me in a newsreel. Well, uh, uh, forget it, will you? Maybe you just don't feel so good. Don't feel so good? You know what he looks like to me, don't you? What? He don't look like the front end of a horse. Can you picture that? I run five miles, eat like a baby, get my skin torn up, and I rub down, and I gain a pound. That beats me. One pound, eh? Are you sure you ain't snitching eats on the side? Snitching eats? What do you think, I'm a cheat? I can tell you better if I had an x-ray machine. Come on, we're gonna time you this morning. Let him out! Let him out! Sure, slow time, wasn't it? It looked to me like Muzz was afraid to run him out. Oh, no, every time a horse runs, Danny, he don't go for speed. Horses gotta work out like humans. Mr. Muggs know what he's doing, don't worry about him. All right, son, we try another, huh? Come on. I got shoes, or you got shoes. All the boss chillin's got shoes. When I get to him, I'm gonna put on them shoes. I'm gonna walk all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, oh, everybody tell me. He liked that song, don't you, huh? <laughs> You know, I've been singing that song to champions for years. And every time I sing it, they wins. And tonight you're going to win. You can't lose, huh? Do you like that song? Heaven, heaven, oh, everybody talking about a heaven ain't going there. Heaven, heaven, I'm going to walk all over God's heaven. I got a room, and you got a room. All the gods too got a room. Well, when I get to heaven, I'm gonna put on that robe. I'm gonna wear it all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, oh, everybody talking about heaven ain't going there. Heaven, heaven, I'm gonna wear it all over God's heaven. I got shoes, and you got shoes. All the dogs too is got shoes. When I get to heaven, I'm gonna put on the shoes. I'm gonna walk all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, oh, everybody talking about heaven ain't going to heaven. Heaven, I'm gonna walk all over God's heaven. I got shoes, you got shoes, all the ghosts in the got shoes. I went to get to heaven, go to put on the shoes, gonna walk all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, oh, everybody talking about heaven, man, go on there, heaven, heaven. I'm gonna walk all over God's heaven. Oh, I got shoes, you got shoes, all the ghosts in the got shoes. I went to get to heaven, go to put on the shoes, gonna walk all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven. Oh, everybody talking about the heaven made by the heaven, heaven. I'm going to walk all over God's heaven. <laughs> oh, look at that boy go. <laughs> Get it, man. Come on, let's do it again. Well, baby, this is the big day I'm intending about. You got to bring home the bacon for all of us. Yes. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, you'd reckon you better change your mind to pork chops. I love pork chop. Mm-hmm. Nice and brown and juicy, yeah. So it makes a man forget all his troubles. Mm-hmm. What? You got troubles, too? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're gonna have to win this race without even being rolled. You better win it all by yourself. Hi, Ben. How's blue night? Oh, fit as silk. Fit as night. Oh, sure looks great. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> What's eating him? Well, I don't know. He's just walking up and down like he got pins and needles in his feet. Well, everything's fine. Oh, fine shape, is it? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be a rider, not a marathon walker. Huh. Just limbering up a little, that's all. 
Where's the gang? Getting their eyes full. Yeah, you better save some of that gate for the race. A blue knight, the right of his life. Do you still think he can win? I'm a cinch. You look a little tired to me. You got circles under your eyes. Is that what? Got on at the window, beauty contest of riding a horse race, does he? What do you want me to do? Get all prettied up like one of the movie stars? I'd scare the horse. Hey, 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 What's the matter with him? Boy, don't look so good to me. Don't worry about him. What's the matter, Ben? You oh, go on, go on. Now, wait a minute, don't go brushing me off now, because you got a funny look in your face. Oh, oh my face ain't no different today than it was yesterday. <laughs> you worried over Mug. Ain't nothing the matter with him. Mug's going to be all right. He's going to bring Blue Knight in way ahead of that whole entire doggone field. Huh. Your mouth ain't telling the same story that your eyes is. I know. My pa I seen my pappy's eyes look like that once. Yeah? We was on a boat, and he wanted me to jump off into the river. He was trying to learn me swimming. What, Tell me. what are you talking about, swimming in rivers? This is a racetrack. Huh. I was scared, and he knowed it. And I had deep sorrow come in his eyes, just like you got in yours now. Ain't nothing in my eyes but the sun. Huh. Muggs is scared. That's it. Say, hush your mouth. Don't you talk that way about Muggs. The boy's got plenty of gumption. Plenty of it. Listen. You see things them white boys don't see. But you button up your lip or it'll sigh old cat. I ain't gonna say nothing, Ben. I ain't talking honest, I ain't. All right, then move along. Shake them legs then. Yes, got sir. Got plenty of work before post time. Yes, sir, I'm going, Ben. I'm going. Yep, the jockey himself gave it to me. Well, we came out here to see Muggs win, not to waste any money at the betting window. But one little bet. Uh, I know. You put that two dollars in the bank with the rest of your money. All right, you win. Well, I have a good thing in this next race, Morgan. Well, the next one, too, I hope. Mm. The horses are nearing the starting gate. Well, if this blue knight is as good as Algie says he is, We'll have a new champion on the American turf very shortly. I'd sure like a chance to train you, Mr. Wilkes. Why do you think I brought you down here? <laughs> They're off. They're off. Jojo is going to the front. Happy Harry is second. Guess who third and her dad? Hey, Muggsy. It's almost post time, ain't it? That's right. I'm betting on you. What? For real dough? Sure. Jakey, let me have two bucks on my camera. I got a guy to bet it for me. Okay, I got half that bet, win or lose. Okay, dog. Hurry, pal. The man in the next state was already headed for the jockey room. Right up on his neck, just like I told you, huh? Okay, Ben, thanks. Danny, see you later. To collect. <laughs> you say to collect. <laughs> Come on, honey. We both go to collect. <laughs> well, let's keep going, baby. Into the stretch. It's JoJo by a length. Happy Harry. It's JoJo by two lengths. Happy Harry is closing this. Look at that. I told you it was a straight tip. I'd have 20 bucks now. Gambling's no way to get ahead, Knuckles. Suppose you had bet. Then you might get the betting fever. Yeah, I know. Besides, it makes me so happy every time I think of that 150 you've got in the bank. Oh, yeah, the 150. Uh, look, I think uh, Muggs Race is next. I'd like to see him in the paddock. Hey, there's Muggs. See him? Hey, Muggs! Shut up. Did he weigh in all right? Sure. Well, then I hope he makes home plate. So since you won't have to slide for it. <laughs> Out up! Yep. This is it, Muggsy. In there, boy. Okay, man. Ride him. Ride him on in. Man, ain't that something. Muggs looks awful little, don't he? You ever see a six-foot jockey? Gee, I wish I was him. Boy, so yeah, do I. Yeah, man, me too. I'd ride him home, ain't boy. Ain't that something, yes, though, boy? Boy. <laughs> You don't have to do that, ma'am. Just be the first cross that line. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if we want to place the rail, we better hurry. Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Horses are nearing the starting gate. 
You really believe our horse will win, Scruno? Yeah, man, with mugs up, he can lose. Well, I certainly hope so. It's a main race. Hey, what's Blue Knight doing in there with a bunch of girls? <laughs> <laughs> when they call a horse a maiden skinny, it means that, well, she or he has never won a race. Oh, fooling. <laughs> we hope the day. All right, Mugsley. This is the day. Get in there, boy. And sit right down on that horse. Relax, because we've got to win the day. so fast. Please, Blue Knight, whoa. Steady, boy. Blue Knight seems that to be making the move. Sit rock. Ride, brother, ride. Keep on. Come on. Running. Come on. Come on. Come on. Turning for home. Come on, Blue Knight. Come on, Blue Knight. What's on your back, Blue Come on. Slow down. Slow. Come on. Come on, fellas. You don't know what this means. Oh, mercy. Coming down to the line of finish. Marty's gal by two lengths, Little Jean lengths. so sure that he was going to win that I... I understand. You took our money out of the bank and bet it. But, Miss Louise, you got swell odds. Well, that's that. Goodbye. Well, uh... Hey, Louise. Uh, well, of all the amateur performances I ever saw, that horse is a holdover from a Civil War cavalry unit. You're wrong, Mr. Wilkes. That's one of the finest racing thoroughbreds I've ever seen. But he isn't trained properly, and he wasn't ridden correctly. Oh, you think you could make him a winner? I know I can. I ran your stable for enough years. You know I never make mistakes. Well, we'll come out here tomorrow, clock him, and see if the horse has anything. for a million bucks. They just ain't no way to get another chance. I'm gonna try, Blue Knight. I'm really gonna try. What'd I tell you, Hunter? That boy's got something. He's gonna come in two years. I'm sure glad, Mr. Wilkes, you're going to give this Blue Knight baby a chance to do some more running. I know what this horse can do. He'll make the rest of them horses look like they're standing still. I haven't made up my mind yet, Ben. I'm only giving Morgan a chance to prove to me that your horse can run. You know, we've raced many a winner in our day. Well, you gentlemen going to race another good winner. Yes, sir. There's no reason, Mr. Wilkes, why Blue Knight shouldn't run the Parmenock Stakes for three-year-olds. Well, will a week give you time enough to train him? We? That horse don't need no special training. I keep saying apple shade. Ben's right, Mr. Wilkes. Blue Knight's in A1 condition. And if it's agreeable with you, I'd like to have Ben stick around. <laughs> he can help me a lot. Uh, thank you, sir. Well, uh, put him on the payroll. Uh, does he mean it? I, uh, I'll be down at the clubhouse when you find Jimmy Sullivan. Okay, I'm going after him right now. You know, a crack jockey like Jimmy Sullivan should be able to get the best out of Blue Knight. I'll see you later, son. Yes, Goodbye, sir. Dad. Gee, but what about mugs? That's just what I was thinking. Poor little fellow. You understand, Jimmy, we want to see what this horse can do. 
and you'll be well paid for your trouble. Okay, where is he? Ben will get him ready for you. Oh, yes, sir. And I'll find Mr. Wilkes. Ben probably thinks I'm lost. You had a sleep coming to you. I sure came to meet that new trainer Algie told me about. Look, he's supposed to know everything there is to know about racing. He's a beauty, huh? Hey. Hey, what's cooking? What's this monkey doing with blue knife? Oh, I just gonna try him out. Mr. Morton's orders. He ain't riding his horse while I'm around. Grand smoke. Say, Muggsy, Muggsy! Hey, Muggsy! Get up! Stop, Stop it, Muggsy! Get out of the fire! Oh. I get all of them, I don't care! Come on! Stop that! Come on, get him up from there. Let's get out of here while we can! Get him out of here! Let's go! Come on, fella, that's all right. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't say nothing about this. You see, Mr. Muggsy's just a little hot headed, but he ain't mean no harm. Ain't no real harm done, is it, huh? Uh, shake him. This is Jimmy Sullivan, Mr. Wilkes. To my mind, one of the finest jockeys in the country. Well, that's good enough for me. All right, Jimmy. Let's get started. Six furlongs. Yes. Hand ride him. Talk to him. She's sweet. Go on, honey. That's the girl. We should have waited for Morgan. If he'd explained it to you, well, you could uh, what good would that have done? Sullivan would have been riding Blue Knight if we waited, and I'm the only one that's going to do that. Don't be too sure. If Mr. Wilkes finds out that you smacked Sullivan, he might not like it. He puts up the cash for Blue Knight, he's got to say so. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that. But if I don't ride that horse, Danny, so help me, nobody's gonna ride him. Come on there, Blue Knight. That's right, Come on there, Blue Knight. Let him loose now. Let him loose up, please. Even, Come on, even, 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 even. I'll take <laughs> and what a stride, 112 breezing. I think we've got something here. I knew we could do it, my honey child. What is the record? <laughs> 110 for six furlongs. Mm. Great work, Jimmy. Will you break a track record? He's a great horse, Morgan. Keep in touch with me. Mr. Wilson probably wants you for the Parmalock Stakes. Okay. <laughs> It'll break Mr. Mug's heart complete if you don't let him run in the stakes. But the boy is not a jockey, Ben. Well, look what he learned in just a little while, Dad. And if Mr. Morgan will teach him, well, why... what's this all about? They're trying to persuade me to let Muggs Maloney ride Blue Knight. I don't advise that, Mr. Wilkes. That's when I tell him. If I'm going to back the horse, I want to be sure that he's properly handled. Well, I don't want to make trouble, sir. But I'll take my 75% of the horse out to run it if Mr. Muggs ain't up when the stakes are run. That boy's not a rider, Ben. Oh, he's a natural born one, sir. Uh, I beg your pardon. But if he can do that good with old Ben teaching him, you do eight times better Would you tell him what to do. Please, Dad. I don't know why I always let you talk me into everything, Algy, but I'll go find Muggs. I'll see him tomorrow. Gee, thanks a lot, Dad. That's swell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the right man. Oh, yes, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I give you tips on winners when the most you ever bets a two dollar bill. You know how much I need the dough, Nick. I'll do you a favor sometime. Yeah, you might have to some of these days. Oh, Morgan. Hello, Nick. Hello, Morgan. You look like it, don't you? Yes. How are you? Okay. Say, I want to repay that money I owe you. <laughs> the old lady must have taken the damper off you. First time I ever seen you having this stuff between races. No, Mr. Wilkes gave me that for running Blue Knight around the track. That's what I want to talk to you about. Yeah, I seen him run the other day. What can you tell me about him? Plenty. Only, uh... That's all right. He's okay. Go ahead and talk. I want to return the favor I owe you. Well, let's have it. You got your money on the wrong horse. Don't make me laugh. Nick Buffalo don't lose when things are right. I bet horses, fella. And I train them. I just clocked Blue Knight and close to a track record and a workout. Breezing. What? That's right. And Wilson will have him up in the stakes, won't he? I don't know. But even so, what you're thinking is out. When I train him, I train him to win. And my jockeys ride him to win. You ought to know that, Nick. Remember, I repaid you that favor. Yeah, I know. So long. So long. And thanks. You gonna double up on this blue knight? You think I'm wacky? I don't know he's on the level. Yeah, they all say they're on the level. He might be pulling a fast one. Mackie, I'm going to give you a chance to pay me for all the things I've done for you. And get a little of that money you need at the same time. Just say the word, Nick. What can I do? 
I seen you gabbing with a guy around Blue Knight's barn. Who is he? Oh, uh, you mean Knuckles Dolan? Sure, we grew up in the same block together. Good, then you can get to him. Mm -mm. Not a chance. He hit the sawdust trail when they put him in charge of that boys club. I've offered him plenty of soft touches since then, but... Stop stalling, you're talking to Nick Buffalo. Nick, listen, I tell you, you can't touch the guy. I've tried. You can get to anybody with enough in your hand. Besides, you've got a week to soften him up. Okay, Nick. I don't care how you work it, but if a horse called Blue Knight wins that race, you're hot. Plenty hot. Now, you understand, Mug. Absolute obedience to everything that Morgan tells you, or you won't be allowed within 500 feet of this stable, or Blue Knight. Teach him everything you can, Morgan. It's too short a time to uh, accomplish much, but, uh, but if Blue Knight can win this race, well, Mrs. Wilkes may not be so disturbed if she finds out. I won't let you down, Mr. Wilkes. No, I'm sure you won't, Martin. Well, I must be getting back to the office. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Let's go. Yeah. All right, right, sure right, 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 right. fellas, wait a minute. It's Mr. Morgan, a new trainer. How do you do, boys? Hey, can I run your horses for you? Can you make the horse do setting up exercises? You got him on one of those diets? I see the lion trainer once. <laughs> now beat it, boys. Muggs and I have got a lot of work to do. Oh, boy. Oh, he's going to run, gotta run, run those horses. Oh, Muggs! Muggs, you will ride easier if you put your foot in the stirrup this way. You know to sort of brace you. All right, start riding. Wait a minute, Muggs! Down, Muggs. You took off there on a walk. Limber up. You can't ride a racehorse with a ramrod for a spine. Oh, that's better. Now remember, leading the gate, take a flying start. You've been getting away too slow, and that's not Blue Knight style. All right, get going. <laughs> I know Mr. Morgan didn't want me here this morning. <laughs> the secret workout. But I had to see my honey run. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I ain't nobody see me around here on this end of the track, no how. You rode as if you were a wooden Indian. Can't you follow my instructions? Can't you remember anything for two minutes? Yeah, I know that. And I seen you ride, too. But why'd you slow up on a far turn? Looked like you was afraid to let him out or something. Afraid? Who's afraid? Boy, I, uh, I thought maybe uh, Blue Knight might stumble and hurt himself. Yeah, that's it. He might have hurt himself. Oh, was that it? Looked like he was scared to me. Yeah, I'm getting fed up with that stuff. First it's Pee Wee and Scruno. How do you feel? How were you eating? You laying off the sweet. Then it's Mr. Wilkes. Well, maybe you ought to get another chunky. You know, you need a little more practice. You guys talk as though you thought I was yellow. No, that ain't it, Muggs. We just thought that, well, maybe you was overdoing it. Baloney. Guys up at Sing Sing got more freedom than I got. I haven't left this track in days. All I've been hearing is horses and seeing horses. So wonder I ain't eating hay and neighing. Maybe that's it. Maybe you got too much horse. Eh. Listen. I'm gonna ride Blue Knight in those stakes the day after tomorrow, get it? Okay. That's the way you feel about it. I'll see Jakey tomorrow. You mean you're still gonna bet on me? Sure. Can you think of an easier way to lose money? <laughs> <laughs> Sleep okay, Muggs? 
Are you going to start that over again? I'm not starting nothing. It's just, well, I've been thinking. <coughs> what Is about? It? Well, maybe we'd have a better chance to clean up if Sullivan could ride and we... Now it's you. First it's the gang, then it's Ben, and now it's you. Fine bunch of pals, all this in a dumpy overboard. I got a notion to go... Maloney, twice easy around the track. Yes, sir. I sure wish Muggs would give up the idea. He ain't never been scared of nothing. But he is now, Danny. Muggs ain't yellow. Well, I know it, but he's afraid. Afraid of that horse, afraid of speed. Oh, I'm scared of things, too. I mean, like, like being on a high place. Everybody has some fear. Fear of snakes, fear of fires. Some people are afraid of losing their jobs or growing old. Then, then you mean there ain't no disgrace in being scared? It's only disgraceful if you don't fight your fear. Muggs has been fighting, but he can't lick it. He's not a jockey, and he never will be. If he'd let Sullivan ride, Blue Knight would win the stakes hands down. And if he don't? With Muggs up, we haven't got a chance. Thanks for the meal, Blackie. Boy, you must be in the chips the way you've been throwing it around the last week. Ah, that's chicken feet. Say, pal, this ain't no peanut racket. Now that you're in, I'd like to show you the way around. For old time's sake. <laughs> you sure know the angles. You gave me five winners yesterday. You know, at this rate, I can get married before the meet's over. Uh, now you are talking peanuts. You listen to me, I'll have you buying furs and jewels. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't kidding. You can lay your hands on five grand by tomorrow night. Five grand? I ain't listening. That we're kind of dough couldn't be on the level. We're sap, Knuckles. This is a cold proposition. Not a chance of a slip-up. I'm doing all right on peanuts. Now, if you can deal me out, Blackie. No matter what it is. You've been swell. And I'd sure like to have a hunk of that dough on Blue Knight tomorrow. It's a Blue Knight? Well, yeah, oh, why? Why, that nag ain't got a chance. What do you mean? Come on in here. We can have a little privacy. And I'll tell you all about it. Now get out of here. Okay, wise guy. But I'm telling you something. That horse ain't gonna win. Get out of here and don't let me catch you hanging around. Okay, okay. I'm going. Hey, Ben! Ben! Looks like we're gonna have trouble. You better get your truck ready and I'll round up the kids. Uh, yes, sir. Ben, are you sure everything's all right? Yes, sir. Everything's on schedule. <laughs> that a signal now. think I was born yesterday. You wait here and see which way they turn. I'll get Nick's car. But you, you ain't gonna put him in a house. Why, sure, Ben. They'll never know we're here. The first time I ever put a horse in a house. <laughs> yeah, they'll be yeah, man. Don't be a point. Yeah. 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 There you are, baby. We brought a lot of trouble to these good boys. Why, well, sure they ain't one of them. Wouldn't lay down his good for nothing in life, help us get where we're going. Well, Ben, I think Blue Knight ought to be safe enough in this hideout. We'll get the other things. I'm yes. so tired, I couldn't even carry a straw. That's exactly what you're gonna carry. What? <laughs> straw, lots of it. We've got to have something soft under those blankets if we're gonna sleep on the floor. But where are we gonna find all that this time of night? We're all gonna spread out in different directions and look for it. Are you mean spread out individual, alone? Sure, why not? You all get yourself some straw. I like hard beds. <laughs> it's dark out there, and besides, I can't see myself in the dark. All right, Danny, you go with him. You other kids can spread out. Muggs, you and I'll try to get some water. Come on, kids. 
thought you were going to get some water with Mr. Knuckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got something in your mind. I want to hear it first. All right, son. You think Blue Knight's a mighty fine horse, don't you? And ain't nothing in the world too good for him. Well, Mr. Wilkston got my hunter child the finest trainer in the land. But I ain't give him nothing but the best of care. And I ain't no trainer, so I'm willing to let Mr. Morgan take over. What are you driving at? You got any doubts about bringing Blue Knight in ahead of that field tomorrow? Why don't you let that Sullivan boy do the job? So now it's you. Fleece is the whole gang, and now it's you! Why don't you hit me? Don't you stand there doing nothing, beat me! Poor little fella. Poor little old fella. Ben. Oh, where's my baby? He's all right, Blue Knight's all right. Don't worry about him. Ben, are you all right? Is he all right? Mom, where is he? Right here beside you. He saved your life, Ben. He pulled you out of that fire. Did he? Poor little fella. Oh, poor little fella. Could I talk to him all by myself? Yeah, but first of all, Ben, tell us what happened. Who did this? Uh, the same fella we had trouble with a little while ago. Blackie, huh? He must have tailed us here. All right, Ben, we'll take care of him as soon as we get you to a hospital. Come on, kids, let's get the truck. Yeah. <laughs> that horse is all Ben's got in the world. If he ain't raced, it'll break the old man, maybe kill him. Quit it, you're breaking my heart. Speaking of breaks, why don't you give everybody one? Ben, the horse, yourself. I'll give you my share of the winnings. I'll do anything. Don't slam the door when you go out. You ain't got no mount for the big race. I looked it up. You gotta have a mount. You might as well ride Blue Knight. Not me. I still got bruises from the last time I tried to ride him. Sorry about that, Jimmy. Honest, I am. You ought to be. I wish I was smart then like I am now. I didn't ever hit you. I didn't ever try to be a jockey. So now you got cold feet. It ain't cold feet, Jimmy. I'm just not the guy to ride Blue Knight. I was afraid, but I ain't no more. I was wrong. I admit that all wrong. I just was never meant to be no jockey. You're telling me? It ain't just me, Jimmy. It's lots of people, friends of mine. They'll be sunk if Blue Knight loses. I said no. I meant it. Scram, small fry. Danny's out looking for him now. I can't understand it. Danny said he woke up this morning and Muggs had disappeared. Oh, we'd have heard if anything that had happened to him. Well, that's not the point. We have, uh, uh, that is, I mean to say, uh, uh, there's money invested in this race.
place but the weighing room. They wouldn't let me in there. Why didn't you wait? I wanted to see the start. They were almost ready. If Muggs is here, he'll show up at the post. He must be here. Blue Knight hasn't been scratched yet. Hey, look. Uh, attention, attention, please. There's a late change of riders on number four, Blue Knight. Make the ride of Jimmy Sullivan replace a Muggs Maloney. No overweight. That will swell a Muggs. I wonder where he is. Well, I'd like to shake that boy's hand. Going to the front, Little King is second, last, Cope is third. As they pass the quarter, it's Saxon moving into the front by a length. Little King is second on, by on. a half. Last, Cope is third. Blue Knight is four. Blue As they go around the turn, it's Saxon right by two lengths. Little King is second by a length. Last, Cope is third. Blue Knight is four. Down the back stretch, it's Saxon and length. Little King, I have Sullivan. Last, Cope, I have Bring home that bankroll. Your face. Oh, my face ain't no different today than it was yesterday. <laughs> you worried over Muggs. Ain't nothing the matter with him. Muggs is gonna be all right. He's gonna bring Blue Knight in way ahead of that whole entire doggone field. <laughs> your mouth ain't telling the same story that your eyes is. I know. My pa I seen my pappy's eyes look like that once. Yeah. We was on a boat, and he wanted me to jump off into the river. He was trying to learn me swimming. <laughs> Tell you. What are you talking about, swimming in rivers? This is a racetrack. Huh. I was scared, and he knowed it. And I had deep sorrow come in his eyes, just like you got in yours now. Ain't nothing in my eyes but the sun. Huh. Muggs is scared. That's it. Say, hush your mouth. Don't you talk that way about Muggs. The boy's got plenty of gumption. Plenty of it. Listen. You see things them white boys don't see. But you button up your lip or it'll sigh old cat. I ain't gonna say nothing, Ben. I ain't talking honest, I ain't. All right, then move along. Shake them legs then. Yes, got sir. Got plenty of work before post time. Yes, sir, I'm going, Ben. I'm going. The jockey himself gave it to me. Oh, we came out here to see Muggs win, not to waste any money at the betting window. But one little bet. Uh, I know. You put that two dollars in the bank with the rest of your money. All right, you win. Well, I have a good thing in this next race, Morgan. Well, the next one, too, I hope. Mm. The horses are nearing the starting gate. Well, if this blue knight is as good as Algy says he is, We'll have a new champion on the American turf very shortly. I'd sure like a chance to train you, Mr. Wilkes. Why do you think I brought you down here? <laughs> They're off. They're off. Jojo is going to the front. Happy Harry is second. Guess who third and her dad. Hey, Muggsy. It's almost four time, ain't it? That's right. I'm betting on you. What? For real dough? Sure. Jackie, let me have two bucks on my camera. I got a guy to bet it for me. Okay, I got half that bet. Win or lose. Okie doke. Hurry yourself. The man in the next day was already headed for the jockey room. Right up on his neck, just like I told you. Okay, Ben, thanks. Danny, see you later. To collect. <laughs> you say to collect. <laughs> Come on, honey. We both go to collect. Come on, let's keep going, baby. Into the stretch. It's Jojo by a length. Happy Harry. It's Jojo by two lengths. Happy Harry is closing. It's Jojo. Look at that. I told you it was a straight tip. I'd have 20 bucks now. Gambling's no way to get ahead, Knuckles. Suppose you had bet. Then you might get the betting fever. Yeah, I know. Besides, it makes me so happy every time I think of that 150 you've got in the bank. Oh, yeah, the 150. Uh, look, I think uh, Muggs race is next. I'd like to see him in the paddock. Hey, there's Muggs. See him? Hey, Muggs! Did he weigh in all right? Sure. Well, then I hope he makes home plate. So since you won't have to slide for it. <laughs> Out up! Yep. That's it, Muggsy. In there, boy. Okay, man. Ride him. Ride him on in. Man, ain't that something. Muggs looks awful little, don't he? You ever see a six-foot jockey? Gee, I wish I was him. Boy, so yeah, do I. Yeah, man, me too. I'd ride him home, ain't boy. Ain't that something, yes, little boy? Boy. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah.
gets everything, mugs will lead the field. You don't have to do that, ma'am. Just be the first cross that line. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if we want to place the rail, we better hurry. Come on. Yeah, so that's a good idea. Horses are nearing the starting gate. You really believe our horse will win, Scruno? Yeah, man, with mugs up, he can lose. Well, I certainly hope so. It's a main race. Hey, what's Blue Knight doing in there with a bunch of girls? <laughs> <laughs> when they call a horse a maiden skinny, it means that, well, she or he has never won a race. Oh, fooling. <laughs> Shoo! Be off the day. All right, Muggsy. This is the day. Get in there, boy. And sit right down on that horse. Relax, because we've got to win the day. even tried to ride. One hundred smackers. You bet on it? Oh, uh, uh, well, yes, Louise, you see. Well, we were all so sure that he was going to win that I... I understand. You took our money out of the bank and bet it. But, Miss Louise, you got swell odds. Well, that's that. Goodbye. Well, uh... Hey, Louise. Uh, well, of all the amateur performances I ever saw, that horse is a holdover from a Civil War cavalry unit. You're wrong, Mr. Wilkes. That's one of the finest racing thoroughbreds I've ever seen. But he isn't trained properly, and he wasn't ridden correctly. Oh, you think you can make him a winner? I know I can. I ran your stable for enough years. You know I never make mistakes. Well, we'll come out here tomorrow, clock him, and see if the horse has anything. It's going to come two years. I'm sure glad, Mr. Wilkes, you're going to give this blue knight baby a chance to do some more running. I know what this horse can do. He'll make the rest of them horses look like they're standing still. Ah, I haven't made up my mind yet, Ben. I'm only giving Morgan a chance to prove to me that your horse can run. You know, we've raced many a winner in our day. Well, you gentlemen going to race another good winner. Yes, sir. There's no reason, Mr. Wilkes, why Blue Knight shouldn't run the Parmenoc Stakes for three-year-olds. Well, will a week give you time enough to train him? Week? That horse don't need no special training. I keep saying apple shade. Ben's right, Mr. Wilkes. Blue Knight's in A1 condition. And if it's agreeable with you, I'd like to have Ben stick around. <laughs> he can help me a lot. Uh, thank you, sir. Well, uh, put him on the payroll. Uh, does he mean it? I, uh, I'll be down at the clubhouse when you find Jimmy Sullivan. Okay, I'm going after him right now. You know, a crack jockey like Jimmy Sullivan should be able to get the best out of Blue Knight. 
I'll see you later, son. Goodbye, Dad. Gee, but what about mugs? That's just what I was thinking. Poor little fellow. You understand, Jimmy, we want to see what this horse can do. And you'll be well paid for your trouble. Okay, where is he? Ben will get him ready for you. Oh, oh yes, sir. And I'll find Mr. Wilkes. Ben probably thinks I'm lost. You had a slave coming to you. I sure came to meet that new trainer out you told me about. Look, he's supposed to know everything there is to know about racing. He's a beauty, huh? Hey. Hey, what's cooking? What's this monkey doing with blue knife? Oh, I'm just going to try him out. Mr. Morgan's orders. He ain't riding his horse while I'm around. Scram, smoke. Say, Muggsy, Muggsy! Hey, 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 Hey, Muggsy! 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 Hey, you see, Mr. Muggs just a little hot-headed, but he ain't mean no harm. Ain't no real harm done here to that. Shake him. This is Jimmy Sullivan, Mr. Wilkes. To my mind, one of the finest jockeys in the country. Well, that's good enough for me. All right, Jimmy. Let's get started. Six furlongs. Yes. Hand ride him. Talk to him. She's sweet. Go on, honey. That's the girl. We should have waited for Morgan. If he'd explained it to you, well, you could... Uh, what good would that have done? Sullivan would have been riding Blue Knight if we waited, and I'm the only one that's going to do that. Don't be too sure. If Mr. Wolf finds out that you smacked Sullivan, he might not like it. If he puts up the cash for Blue Knight, he's got to say so. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that. But if I don't ride that horse, Danny, so help me, nobody's going to ride him. Come on there, Blue Knight. That's ready. Right. Come on there, Daddy. Let him lose now. Let him lose his sleeve. Even, on, even, even. Now, even. Out, ah. and what a stride, 112 breezing. I think we've got something here. I knew we could do it, my honey child. What is the record? <laughs> 110 for six furlongs. Mm. Great work, Jimmy. We'll break a track record. He's a great horse, Morgan. Keep in touch with me. Mr. Wilkes will probably want you for the Parmalock Stakes. Okay. It'll break Mr. Muggs' heart complete if you don't let him run in stakes. But the boy is not a jockey, Ben. Well, look what he learned in just a little while, Dad. And if Mr. Morgan will teach him, well, why... what's this all about? They're trying to persuade me to let Muggs Maloney ride Blue Knight. Now, I don't advise that, Mr. Wilkes. That's when I tell him. If I'm going to back the horse, I want to be sure that he's properly handled. Well, I don't want to make trouble, sir. But I'll take my 75% of the horse out to run it if Mr. Muggs ain't up when the stakes are run. That boy's not a rider, Ben. Oh, he's a natural born one, sir. Uh, I beg your pardon. But if he can do that good with old Ben teaching him, he do eight times better with you telling him what to do. Please, Dad. I don't know why I always let you talk me into everything, Algy, but... Well, go find Muggs. I'll see him tomorrow. Gee, thanks a lot, Dad. That's swell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the right man. Oh, yes, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I give you tips on winners when the most you ever bet's a two-dollar bill. You know how much I need the dough, Nick. I'll do you a favor sometime. Yeah, you might have to some of these days. Oh, Morgan. Hello, Nick. Hello, Morgan. You look like it, don't you? Yes. How are you? Okay. Say, I want to repay that money I owe you. <laughs> the old lady must take the damper off you. First time I ever seen you having this stuff between races. No, Mr. Wilkes gave me that for running Blue Knight around the track. That's what I want to talk to you about. Yeah, I seen him run the other day. What can you tell me about him? Plenty. Only, uh... That's all right. He's okay. Go ahead and talk. I want to return the favor I owe you. Well, let's have it. You got your money on the wrong horse. Don't make me laugh. Nick Buffalo don't lose when things are right. I bet horses, fella. And I train him. I just clocked Blue Knight and close to a track record and a workout. Breezing. What? That's right. And Wolves will have him up in the stakes, won't he? I don't know. But even so, what you're thinking is out. When I train him, I train him to win. And my jockeys ride him to win. You want to know that, Nick. Remember, I repaid you that favor. Yeah, I know. So long. So long. And thanks. 
you gonna double up on this blue knight? You think I'm wacky? I don't know. He's on the level. Yeah, they all say they're on the level. He might be pulling a fast one. Backy, I'm gonna give you a chance to pay me for all the things I've done for you. And get a little of that money you need at the same time. Just say the word, Nick. What can I do? I seen you gabbling with a guy around Blue Knight's barn. Who is he? Oh, uh, you mean Knuckles Dolan? Sure, we grew up in the same block together. Good, then you can get to him. Mm -hmm. Not a chance. He hit the sawdust trail when they put him in charge of that boys' club. I've offered him plenty of soft touches since then, but... Stop stalling. You're talking to Nick Buffalo. Nick, listen. I tell you, you can't touch the guy. I've tried. You don't get to anybody with enough in your hand. Besides, you've got a week to soften him up. Okay, Nick. I don't care how you work it, but if a horse called Blue Knight wins that race, you're hot. Plenty hot. Now, you understand, Muggs. Absolute obedience to everything that Morgan tells you. Or you won't be allowed within 500 feet of this stable, all blue night. Teach him everything you can, Morgan. It's too short a time to uh, accomplish much, but... Uh, but if Blue Knight can win this race, well, Mrs. Wilkes may not be so disturbed if she finds out. I won't let you down, Mr. Wilkes. No, I'm sure you won't, Muggs. Well, I must be getting back to the office. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sure he's got it. All right, fellas, wait a minute. This is Mr. Morgan, a new trainer. How do you do, boys? Hey, can I run your horses for you? Can you make the horse do setting up exercises? You got him on one of those oh. diets? <laughs> I see the lion trainer once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat it, boys. Muggs and I have got a lot of work to do. Oh, boy.